Old Beaver, away! Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Critzcast. Uh, it's going to be the One Night Cup Premier Division coverage, uh, round three on PL Badwater V9. Uh, once again, with We Oofed on production, with myself, Buck, and got Extra Solo joining me for now. So, uh, how are you doing, Extra? I'm doing all right. Like, I'm just, I'm just having a shock that we're already at the 20th season of Highlander. <laughs> it's true. Yeah, <laughs> time sneaks up on you like that. But yeah, this has been a. A lot of uh, Highlander going on. I think I've been doing it since like season eight. Just for it to mean it's twenty yeah, now, it seems a bit crazy. But here we are once again, testing some uh, some new maps on this uh, cup. Also, getting some teams ready, maybe. Yeah, I mean, you know, we got the ETF to where we're testing some uh, some some of the old American maps. One of the Americans, they uh, they like to play Vigil and Swift Water, which you've seen before tonight, and uh, they tested a bit of bad water for a while. Um, they realised they really like it that much. But now ETF 2L themselves are trying it, as we've actually got the ready up already. Hmm. Well, here we go. This is going to be uh, Kanker versus Kitty. Um, so, I mean, going down the Kanker roster, so we're going to have uh, someone who's not aliased for Prem on Scouts. Um, hmm. Almost Christmas, comma, R dot 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 on my hood, so that's great. Uh, we've got Defa on Soldier. We've got Super on Pyro. We're going to have um, Noz on Demo. <laughs> With Pigman on Heavy, got Kareek on NG, uh, Trum on Medic, uh, Marv actually coming back to play Sniper, and then Nebula on the Spy. Okay, then we have for the side of Kitty S. Bakan Badami, the last season's Division 1 champions. Not too much changing, uh, really, but we've got Lightclaw, of course, on Scout. Boshi going back from his Heavy Roll to Soldier again. we got Marcus14 on Pyro, I believe that's his actual name. Got Plugs uh, on demo. We got uh, we got someone on heavy. I mean, it, it's a player. G GD, I think we're nicknaming him. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean GD. We, we got someone on heavy. We got Marissa on NG. Pan, of course, coming up on medic. We've got Fuzzkey on the sniper, and Porter on the spy class. So the gates are about to open. We're going to see if we can get any uh, any good bombs here. Let's see what can do with their first suicide wave. <laughs> Funny getting the quick card to super though, so I could deny his jetpack jump in and actually see if he was on it, but... Right away, instantly Nebula just, just gets the counter pick, like, no sniper again, once away. Uh, it's a bit of an early pick though, like, you'd expect, uh... You'd expect the sniper to kind of have it later, optimally, so you're suicide and get something done first, but look at that, already, like, <laughs> already four down for the defense. They just fed into Pigman until I don't know what was going on there, it took GD to just drop down from the high ground to, uh... Try and clear that up, but oh, uh, teleport still, still quite up slow. though, so Fuzzkey's back on the cliff already. Back with his guns, so the death don't really mean too much. I mean, ideally, he would have walked up Clifton and I could have bombs while Sniper was down, but Trump's Optus has just come out of main right now and play with his demo here. And he's taking a lot of spam, he's actually used really early. Oh, God, this, is this is, yeah, very poor Uber coming out here from the side of Kanker. Uh, they're trying their best to get damage on the gun, but Fuzzkey has taken down Marv. Be pressured out here by the, uh, the spy demo and scout for Kitty, and they're running with their tails being legs for spawn. They're trying their best to try and keep everybody up. They've only killed Lightclaw so far on the defense. Ooh, ball with a really close decloak. Managed to get the demo pick, so slow them down quite a lot, getting nods there. But Trump managed to live in that will mean that they're on kind of a very small percent out, actually. But it's going to still be a bit of a nuisance. I mean, Kareem is doing his best to try and mini it down with some, uh, some scan. But Funsky on the high ground is not going to be very good for them either. Yeah, they're trying to pressure out this, this cliff area again, but they can't have too much. Like, Luck with it, really. Only plucks from Porter going down. Oh. Uh, Trump again goes down to first. And the stab instantly comes in, but a second too late there from the, from the side of Nebula. Nothing too much happening, but uh, slowly they are like going off with medic, getting some aggression on. You know, as soon as you med, you want to try your very best to just try and get the only medic. And they're trying to pressure right up cliff here. There's a huge advantage here, man. <laughs> the, the, but, scout, but... <laughs> the scout the sneak counts it. Oh, There's no. no attention to the cart, but Plux is some decent damage to try and keep them back here, but level it's one is not to keep them out for long. It's always awkward when he's still on cliff there, he lost a few people. I'm just fighting the medic Oh, oh he does dodge away. Oh, shit. oh, but he's still going. I was looking at him. Okay, he's turn around eventually. It's just kind of awkward when you're just looking at everyone on the side of cliff and you're not paying attention to the cart there. It, it, it's happened to everybody. But Marv actually hasn't been able to get in at all this game. We've got zero Fuzz on points. eight points. Yeah, Marv zero points right there. So can Karini start playing around his life and while trying to get in some space? This second point has been altered slightly from the first bad water. We've got this little uh, little, little board here blocking the sight line. So maybe Marv wants to try and get onto the roof to try and deal some damage to the enemy team. Yeah, and with Trim going down a bit earlier there, makes it a bit harder for them, so got a pack on the 100% here. But I mean, there isn't many people actually holding second here. I don't know why they're combos here, but the rest of the team's kind of 
roaming around. Like, they're not really. I don't know whether they want to commit for this fully, but I mean, these yeah, damage coming out from Quixel. Oh, the big bomb coming actually from Death, but doesn't really do too much. That's sort of what the, like, unintended uh, novelties of this new ball on the second is that it actually gives the. Uh, Gives the attacking team worse spam, but, but much better cut cover on the second point. So, I think that's why they changed it for V12. But regardless, we do have the third hold now coming out from, uh, from the side of Kitty. They lost Demo, Scout, and Spy. They're just coming up now. But Death is just trying to uh, just shut out this balcony, see if he can get a high bomb into them here. Uh, of course, yes. on both sides now. Still three minutes decent time, I guess, um, in all fairness, for this offense. But I mean, Fox is just letting them in here. Like, I'm not sure why he went back that far for like heals and Navo or whatever, but I mean, he's gonna get this cart time. Quite quickly, but they've got the level three set up. They've got the sniper as well, well level two actually set up. The Uber comes in very quickly though. Marissa will get taken out along with the sentry, but Solo sort of well, Light Claw and uh, Pluxley have taken the majority of this Uber, trying to get the medicate does go down. But Pigman coming in with some cleanup damage, but Funski in this top area slamming them pretty hard from the window. Pigman, the last man standing there for the uh, for the push. Really, no, nothing really too much happened there. They've only they have lost their energy, so a repush could come through the better spawn. Of course, on that uh, bad ball to probably do have a forward spawn for the blue team here. Slightly shorter wall coming out here and. Look at this, Red is still four down, and we've got nine people alive now for the side of Kanker as they're going to try and... We've got cart time on that push, and the sniper has gone down as well to Marv. So, and uh, they want to try and get Sentry out of the way here, but Nebula has gone down. So uh, a lot less pressure on the engineer as he builds up a Sentry gun, but it is only level one. So they're looking to maybe capitalize quickly off this, they killed Boshi. Oh, they're all kind of in this too far area, though. They're letting them walk in on this high ground, but... Um... I don't, I'm not really sure where Marv is. They're not pressuring in considering he's not really peeking for them, but he's oh, he's on the balcony right now with them. But this cart's moving up quite quickly. Sentry, like, trying, like, Marissa's doing his best to try and get this going. But uh, there's a lot of stuff going into the cart, a lot of damage, but 100% on my hand, so maybe just trying to bail out this Uber, I'm not sure. There we go, the Uber gets pushed out now. Uh, onto the side oh, of the Trump's boxer. very easy, he's 90%. Oh. Oh, he's gonna get meleeed. <laughs> oh, gets meleeed down with the sign. Thank you very much, sir, and uh, the rest of the team are coming to clean oh, that up. I do not agree with your Trump position there, yet. Yeah. Nah, no, he, he, he could have just stayed, like, passive. He had all the time in the world to get his Uber, but his team decided to just commit there because they got the NG. Like, the NG's not as powerful on this point. You've got the double balcony with the connector there, you've got the double That's staircase. The up to him. Well, yeah. Like got all sorts of good things happening for you to kill the NG and they just chose to walk forward and they've been punished for it very hard. You gotta gotta reset them now back to uh pack on a small ad once again. But the car's like kind of a bit close, but it's gonna start rolling back now. No one really gonna be able to get on that very quickly. Just decided to go through boiler here, I'm trying to get Mov with that sight line. I'm gonna try and buff Unsky here to try and reflect what a damage they're trying to put in here. But Marv gets the best of that, so a lot of space opens up on this balcony. It's gonna be nice going down. There was heat cap almost here. Look, we got like half a wheel here before the car was yeah. So uh, almost Christmas. Um, almost gets the cap there. Yeah, definitely. But Marv getting some decent damage down already. So already picks up the pyro. They were very scared of the sniper. Here we go. Plucks a decent positioning here to so actually ram them out. Throws a couple of line bomber pipes in there, but Boshi could try and take this one v one of the soldier as he's trying to defend with his banner up right now. Yeah, they're just trying to just slowly pressure through main here, Kanka, but they've the more time they spend on this point, like I know it's bad water third, so it's a little bit nerfed, but this is again the majority of the time on the map. So they're trying their very best to uh, try and get some space here up top, but I want to see some more pressure from Boiler. I know you got his top balcony, but they're just not be really to set Marv in so far. He's getting a buff, but the, the Sam's coming in now. He's he's been killed by Marv. Uh, Puzz, sorry. So then we got the the heavy in the in the heavy spot on third, just doing damage people that walk in and Kitty just look comfortable here. They're they're two down, but. No sniper for the side of Kanker, they yeah. have to use really early on the floor. They're trying to take um, this even sniper fight though. They're trying to take this even uber fight as well, they're not shooting the gun. Yeah, they're going to eat up that uber kit, so yeah, they know how to play the uh, water third. As we uh, we saw last season in grand finals. Oof. Very sad indeed. Flank's trying to push in though now, I mean they're four down actually, on sort of the defense with the uh, marker down, definitely doing a lot of damage as well as a piece of rocket. Pigman gonna be taking a full face of sentry fire right there, but Marv trying to peek in main, not gonna find anything else. Flank's in a decent position as well. Telly's actually, that's true actually, yeah, Spence, you can actually put the Telly up here since this boy can get up here at any time anyway, so that's a decent Telly position there from the rest of there. They've got, the, they've uh, got any cut, cart to do that, Noz has to just run straight to the cart there, like during that entire exchange, no cart time was had for the side of Kanka. I'm surprised that Noz got out there, but maybe a bit lucky. And we got almost Christmas in on the balcony area, trying to do, uh, oh. Well, that's why we took down Sentry Energy. Yeah, it's just Mars is going ham right now, just trying to put as much Trump wants in. to use this little bit of ad as well, like, Pan doesn't have quite yet. If they can just rush him with the pyro, they can maybe kill him right here, and, and Pluxus and Noz both go down there. Pan! DH comes out from <laughs> Death. Uh, just read perfectly by the, uh, the sign of Death, just making Pan levitate with his gun. 
He's got the heavy as well. He's jumping through main. He's not stopping. He's just one shot Fuzz. And uh, he's, on, he's on Marissa as well. His Pyro is they're looking to just roll straight into the last. Paul has got the ambi shot onto Defa, but damage has uh, been done. Trump. And Trump's all alone here with his fight. Oh, his heavy does save him in the end like, from Pigman. This is just sitting in the spawn there. Yeah, I this don't is. Know. I, uh, I've never seen this in in battle yeah. ever with the men ringing across the yeah, river. This, this is um, interesting, but they finally worked out. They're on the lower spawn. They're going to try and do their best to deal with them. But oh, of course, Pigman. the staircase oh. is in the is in the spawn. You haven't got to respawn to switch your spawns. Doesn't no, really seem to be doing though. too much. They yeah, so long with this. They're free up, and they're, the cart's only like halfway down the ramp now. They need to get some more cart time, like very quickly. They're controlling the spawns really well. I mean, they get they're getting off the stragglers, but. This shot probably should be Kanker's round, but they, like when you haven't really got much time to lose, I think in five minutes on third, you really want to try and get the cart through faster. I gotta admit though, like Pigman, like I don't know why they didn't counter Pigman another way, like not just yeah. running into his sight line like that. It's a bit retarded. But here Oof. we are again, like three three people up only on the defense, but like that was just, that, that shouldn't have really worked out if I'm being honest. No, like <laughs> there's just like one heavy in your top spawn and no one manages to deal with him. But um, yeah, yeah, I mean this is. You know, pretty decent cup. Yeah, I mean, the, the, the majority like of that time was just on the third, really, um, like you said before. But, I mean, I th the thing is, they kind of overcommitted for the defense on the third. They didn't get out like when they probably should yeah, have done. Yeah, I think with this with, with this as well, like you, you're probably getting less time on third because of the uh, the, the nerfs to that point. Yeah. So I'm, I'm kind of uh, worried for Kanga's chance on the defense. Like, nine minutes would be a, a bit of an eh time on stock bad water, bad water pro. You're usually shaving like at least a minute and a half of your regular times, like if you don't roll third, of course. But yeah, just because of the balcony and the stairs and stuff like that. We've got a Huntsman out from uh, from Fuzz? Question uh, mark? I don't see this being uh, consistent, but we'll wait and see. Maybe you could do that, like, you know, the arrow where you kind of stand in the corner oh, and you yeah, just, just kind of loop uh, it over to the middle or whatever. Uh, we've seen like, quite a few uh, meme clips of that happening. Yeah. My favourite was always when you did like the demo night chimp off of the rocks with the old tide turner and just, oh, yeah. just that was always best. Three, two, back, one. back when oh, the sticky uh, jumper and paper. Oh, 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 those were some good times. Oh, oh no. there we go. No Mr. Ortis brackets Noz has killed, got on a two k. <laughs> <laughs> no, he works it in and he gets the kill, big man. Uh, oh, tragic. Yeah, Paul gets the soldier as well, but here we go. No heavy to deny this. Oh, oh, oh! <laughs> Trump that just gets beautiful. yeeted into the ground by the pipe. Oh, that's yeah. The, the, the sentry is going to make a frag movie after this, though. Yeah, MVK, but, but you know, sentry. You know, it's, it's got the it's the best player in the server award. That's MVP. And the sentry does go down though to the to the heavy for Kissy. Uh, Pigman has dropped down, but the heavy heavy fight does not go in his favour. And look at this cap time. Like despite that, like. Oh, they're slow walking out, but they've got on the drop at the cat time. Oh, no, oh, is going to crash her. Oh, no. <laughs> Plugs against the air shot. What's going on, Buck? Like, the thing is, right, after the heavy die, they didn't respect the suicide waves at all. No one was really looking for it. And then, uh, yeah, Trump just drops. That's what happens. And now they're being really aggressive on this second for some reason. Like, I don't know whether I'm just already backing out here, but Pigman... Pigman has no fear. He just kills Apparently, he doesn't have fear. Though. Like, you so. know, 200 health is advantage. So everyone who won, he just wins. No fear. Defa has killed himself with his rocket, sadly, but... Look oh, at this, look at the aggression. Gosh, the high bomb comes in from Boshi, but it doesn't really get too much. Trump is alive, and, and the Pan does still have his advantage. They're trying to best around this corner, but the card's going to come in. Pan does get forced, though. Or maybe use around the corner, but a miscommunication. Uh, Pig, no one's seen Pigman in the corner. <laughs> He's just going to just wait damage on the card. It's eventually go down, though. God, I'm so scared of Pigman. Like, I don't know where this is <sighs> intrinsic from like that last bit, but, like, jeez, I don't know what's going on. I don't know why they just didn't, they just walked right past Pigman, like, oh no, it's just heavy in the corner. Let like the cart deal with it, I guess. But it doesn't really matter, they're just taking this ground right away. Yeah, Boshi coming in with a decent bomb, but super in position to reflect that. But a lot of people on the balcony, gonna make it even harder for them. Plugs are gonna decent pipe. Marv in the back, trying to do his best to, like, look for Funski here as they're still doing their no, sniper. We're, we're only two minutes into the game, we're already just sitting on third. Fuzz has gone down for the side yeah. of, uh, for Kitty, so maybe they can try and stabilize this. They're so getting on the cart and. The heavy is so very low, 19 HP on on uh, GD. Trying his best to stay alive though. There's a scout on him though, around the corner. And a soldier, so he's getting a tank oh, very exactly. slowly. Yeah. And oh, the Death is trying to high bomb, but has been body shot in the air. Uh, Boshi's a bit tough, not Zephyr, sorry. He's trying his best to try and get some ground here, but it looks like maybe Kanga can stabilize. They've taken down Marv though from Kitty Ave. Plucks are uh, but the yeah, Plucks are just. Um, weird position. Yeah, I think he's expecting more people to be with him there. Like, his team were sort of pushing through the house, even though they got his big balcony, but... 
Again, it's equal Uber, so uh, heavy solo. The sentry has come down to fuzz, though. He's shooting it from... No, he isn't. Okay. Oh, there's no way this works. Have they got <laughs> counter? Yeah, they've got counter Uber, so this is going to be... I'm expecting them to just kill the med. Is they going to run out? Probably. Yeah. They've got that level one. Marissa on level three is on offense, already getting in here. Shout out to Marissa. They've been very ballsy with this. But, I mean, Troy in a bit of a weird position here. There's so many people up on the offense. Never goes down. Lightclaw runs in. Doesn't miss the shot, because it's Lightclaw after all, and gets the medic. Yep. And Kanker now, they're in a bit of a tricky situation. They've got, you know, basically what's going to be like 60% of the advantage defending last with five yeah. and a half minutes left. And uh, Fenske back on Huntsman as well, so let's not forget that. Oh, yeah. Marv, is, Marv has headshot him, but uh, I think oh. was, See, yeah, no what, sniper, why no. use normal sniper when you leave the light to the spy anyway? <laughs> yeah, I mean, you, your spy can just back and you can just use the Skyrim weapon, you know? Yeah, it's easier. Yeah. Oh. oh, I guess oh. it's Noz does win that fight in the end. Lightclaw just launches him across the map, though, gun making him levitate. Yeah. Ballsy, no fear on Lightclaw. And Porto again getting some picks. But what's like been doing a lot of work, like, considering I've never, like, heard of him, like, he's done so much for Kitty, to be fair, considering all these different stabs he's been getting at different times, but, yeah, fair play on him. Gonna be looking on the, on the map room right now, they've got some, uh, like, sniper action going on. Funsky actually, oh, I see what he's doing, he's mind gaming Mar. <laughs> Every death he's, like, switching between oh. weapons. Oh. He's got, like he's, got the, he's got counter, seeing as he's like got double his points right now, but... Yeah. I don't know, the Uber does come through, they're gonna chase people through Spile here. Um, Trump hasn't got, he's gonna be very careful to get him, why doesn't he get uh, caught out? The building has not been very good, he's... Oh, he was a knight! Oh, oh the, dice, the one bullet. Oh. oh, that's gonna be the first round as well, so... <laughs> kid. Oh, it's well. apparently GG, best of one, okay. Well, so, uh, Kitty winning that out then, I guess. I guess maybe, the strategy maybe. there was just Uber and Spiral distract Nozlem if he doesn't get on the car. Yeah, but apparently, it. apparently it's just counting on the fact that Trump's going to build a percent slower. I, I don't know, maybe. Yeah. I think Kitty proving their, their worth while they won Div 1 last season. Yeah, just put front skill Huntsman and, uh, you know, time it right and you're right. Yeah. Seems legit. So, but anyway, let's, uh, let's discuss the map a bit, I guess, because I know you've got some uh, interesting opinions. Ooh, extra on this map. Some, some divisive opinions. Okay, oh, yeah. so, so I think the entirety of North America will hate me, and like all the Gator Discord will hate me, but uh, <laughs> I'm not a big fan of Payload Badwater Pro V9. If you're going to run Pro, oh. I'd say you run 12, because 9, this balcony area, is just very silly. Um, and also, like they, they put in the balcony, but on 12, they, um, they took it away, but gave a little ledge for the spies to get up. So it's, it's a lot more like old bad water, but and again, this like the the strange little boards on the front. I I, I don't agree with them at all. It gives way too much um, like space for the attacking team for the second point. Like you can't really hold on the floor at all. But well, what can we do? It's either well, I'd rather have Swift Water than Bad Water Pro. But you and know, do you, do you like Borneo? Um, Borneo is is okay apart from the last, in my opinion. It's like Barnlets. Hmm. Well, there we have it then, I guess. So, uh. Can we, can we get the buck forts on the, the on Swift Water and Vigil, though? Buck forts. Though? Buck the forts. Big uh, brain buck, 824 oh, well, IQ. I've already, I've already given my opinion on Vigil and Swift Water. Oh. Uh, I don't know whether you're wow. watching the, the, the cast, but yeah. I, I, I don't really. I don't really mind too much this map. I think sometimes that balcony is a bit weird just in terms of like the snipe peeking it, because it's a lot yeah. easier to just tank your sniper at. Um, yeah, like you basically got like boiler, but... you, you got like boiler plus on this balcony now. You can yeah, pick it from either side as well, and it's just strange. It's harder for the flank to lock down and the sniper and the demo and all that. So. Like, V12 is just stop bad board with like the double staircase and the ledge for the spy, and like even the heavy can get up on there actually. So it's really good. I think as long as you're bad board with the forward spawn, yeah, you up second. That's oh that's yeah, like, right. like just keep regular bad board to put with the forward spawn. Like that's that's like the the one change that I really like about the bad water pro is that they they thought oh the problem with this map is the massive walk that you got to take. Yeah, so they put exactly. a forward spawn is. Spy so, just denies your third push. Just I think, <laughs> yeah, it's quite easy to overthink the uh, map balance with uh, with payload. But just yeah. a forward spawn, and then you're winning. Shout out to Aleski. Please make payload bad water pro v13. Thanks. <laughs> and there we go. I think we'll uh, wrap this up. So uh, thanks to all the the casters. Thanks for extra for joining me, and thanks to Wheat on um, production as per usual. Um, but yeah, so hopefully you've enjoyed watching Kitty's journey through the uh, preseason cups since we've seen them in all three games. And uh, thanks for all the other teams as well. Uh, this did happen in other, obviously, all the divs as well, not just Prem. So uh, if you see the results, they will be on E2 after well. As season usual. twenty, right around the corner as well. Oh yes, so yes. Make sure you sign up your teams for season twenty if you haven't already done so. Check out your rosters. 
and uh, make sure they're looking fine. But uh, yeah, we'll have to see if any of these maps make it into the official map roster. But uh, for now, that will be it. But make sure you follow and subscribe to Critscast for any up-to-date Highlander action. We will be bringing you more action in the future on Season 20, and uh, also maybe some other cups as well and events. So stick around for that. But uh, my name has been Book on we on production and uh, with extra on the color casting scene. But for now, we will see you next time. Bye bye. Hi, old Beaver. Away.